You know, I've been doing these very big theaters, 800 seater and stuff, and you have to have so much vocal power. You have to project your voice so much. And in a small place like this, you can, you know, play with your voice and do, you know, more interesting things that, that I think will be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. She is a Hollywood movie star, but she's. I mean, to be a Hollywood movie star, you have to be very manipulative, very smart. You know, you have to really be on your toes, not miss an opportunity. She's like that kind of person, you know. She's used to manipulating people, getting her way, having everything go her way. Um, and, you know, men sort of want to do whatever she suggests, and she has ways of getting them to do things. And, you know, this play is, is, is beautiful because she, it's a love story. She wants to go back with the man she really loved, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you scared of? I'm not scared of anything. Then why do you keep moving away? Because this is my room, and if you're gonna lie down, I don't think I should be here. Haven't you ever seen anyone in a snip before? Yeah, I love doing it, you know. It's the doing it that I like. I don't care about anything else. It's the actual doing it that, for me, is really obsessional and fascinating and really fun. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm lucky <laughs> that I'm getting to do it because I enjoy it so much. You know, they've helped me a lot to raise money for good charities and, you know, I'm allowed to do this play thing that I love, you know. I mean, there's give and take in every situation, you know. I mean, I don't want to comment about my personal life and there is, you know, too much kind of stuff that's, you know, made up, fabricated, whatever. But I kind of, tr you know, I'm a good sport about it. I try to laugh about it and not to get too obsessed. I mean, I don't have a press agent and I don't read most of it. <laughs> so, you know, I just sort of like do what I'm doing and the open university degree is fantastic. I'm loving doing it. And I'm also setting a good example for my children. My daughter Elizabeth is doing it now, which I'm really thrilled about. That was one of the main things I thought, you know, because when she left school, she said to me, well, you left school when you were 16. You know, you can't argue with me. So I thought, uh-oh, okay. <laughs> so then I sort of started doing it and was really cool about it and started talking about it and saying, you know, it's really fun just to make her see that learning is fun. You know, it's not like a chore. It can be really interesting. And it can change the way you think about things. And it's been very helpful for my theater work. Well, I think so much has to do with your confidence. You know, how you perceive yourself, I think. Um, I mean, I feel I've had more than my share of beauty, <laughs> you know, all these years. And I'm not worried about getting older, you know. I mean, as long as your health is good and your mind's working, it's natural and inevitable that you're going to get lines, that you're going to look older. But I don't think that it means you're not beautiful. Because I see women who are older who are very, very beautiful. Everyone, just stand this way, please. You're right. This way, Jerry. This way.